Welcome back to Nerdy Just Plans. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. This is going to be a plan with me for the week of October 14th to October 20th. So let's take a look at last week. So this is how it's turned out. Today is actually Saturday. I have not finished writing and everything for today or tomorrow, obviously. I completely neglected my trackers this week. I will be fixing that, however. So, and I have completed some more of these tasks. I just need to mark them off. But let's get into what we're here to plan today, which is the 14th through the 20th. I will be using this kit from Planning with Court. It's very, very cute. It's little monsters. And I like her kit format because she does have seven little boxes that I can use and she does include more than enough checklists. The date covers are actually separated. They're not in a strip. So the top and bottom washi are included and then this and her pricing is very reasonable. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go ahead and start laying down the date covers. I'm using little date dots from Happy Scrappy that I purchased several weeks ago with a la carte items. They are rose gold foiled pumpkins. I realized as I'm laying it down that I needed to place the top washi because the little pumpkin was going to overlap just at the top there. So I decided to stop doing that and put down the washi on the top and bottom for both pages. Usually when I'm planning, that I that is the first thing that I do, but I was so excited about putting the pumpkins on the uh, date labels there that I decided to start with that first. I jumped the gun. So I'll lay those down. And as you're going through and watching this, you'll notice that I'm having quite a bit of trouble getting things to line up the way that I want them to. I think that it's a combination of a few things because I don't generally struggle with that. Um, are actually three things. Uh, the first thing being that I am filming myself for the first time doing this. So even though I realize I have ultimate control over what goes on the internet and what does not, it's still kind of odd knowing that my camera is right there next to my head watching everything that I do. Um, the second thing is my new nails. I am not used to having longer nails. I work in a microbiology research laboratory and I choose not to keep my nails long. I wear gloves a lot of the time because I do work with pathogens and you know, I just, it's just not something that I prefer. I do work with other scientists, female scientists who keep their nails long and have no problems with it. So it's going to take some getting used to. And I know that the more that I wear them, the more used to and accustomed to them I will become and then it will no longer be a problem. Another thing that I know is affecting me when I was doing this plan with me is that I am blind as a bat. Uh, I cannot see the little lines on this book to save my life from the distance that I'm sitting away from it. So the studio lights, word of advice, the studio lights really do help. So when people tell you that adequate lighting can help you, that is that is so true. I didn't realize how true it was until I was under these super bright lights and it did help a lot. I was It was easier to see than I had anticipated it. Honestly, I had put off filming this video because I was just certain that there was gonna be no way. Usually my nose is to the page when I'm doing this on my own um, casually. So, Definitely word of advice for anybody who's blind like I am, who has to put their nose to the page, really good lights do help. And I mean like really good lights, not necessarily like just turn on all the lamps in your living room, but have the lights that are, are graded like to be true to life color, so on and so forth. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm using the boxes from the kit and putting in the high and low temperature for each day for next week. Those are probably going to change. I live in the Texas area or the Dallas, Texas area rather. And our weather is fairly erratic this time of year. We do not have um, traditional transitions in seasons like you have in other parts of our country and other parts of the world. You have, it's really, really hot. And then a cold front comes through and for a day or two it'll be nice and cool or even cold and then it gets fairly hot again maybe pleasantly warm and then a cold comes excuse me and then a cold front comes through and it's cold all of a sudden and winter has arrived and there's no way to be able to tell that uh here i realized that i actually put the wrong stickers on the wrong days so i skipped a day so i just go back and fix that and change it over um 
Oh my gosh, I say um so much. I've recorded this voiceover like three different times. And if you played like a drinking game to how many times I say um, take a shot, you would need to be hospitalized. It is so frustrating when you realize something like that about yourself. I apologize to all the people that are watching this that have known me for many, many years that I have ummed at you so incessantly. And I, I vow to make an effort to release myself from the need to um to fill in space when I am in the middle of thinking before my mouth is ready to move. I vow to be silent in my pauses. At least I'm going to try. So as I'm going through and laying these down, this these two boxes in particular, kind of my arch nemesis, 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 they're the bad guys in this particular video because I keep having to adjust them to make them where I want. One might say that I'm anal retentive about that, but I really wanted to make sure that it looked nice for everyone watching and even for myself too, first and foremost. I'm usually much more casual about how I throw my stickers down. I'm kind of chaotic about it and I like to put as many stickers as I can on a page. And I decided against that this time. I actually decided that I would be doing top three for each day rather than just going through and plan as I go. I like plan as you go method. I think that it's fantastic, especially if you're in a larger format planner where you really do have more versatility and space as far as how you're going to go in and adjust things or add things or delete things on the go or on the fly. But in the Hobonichi weeks, it really does not allow for that in the weekly spaces because of the amount of space that you have per, per day. So I decided that what I would like to do is to keep a running to-do list on the right side and a gratitude log on the right side. And on the left side, have my top three and then just highlight the big events or the important things that are going on that day with other stickers on the right side of that page. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my checklist checklist stickers uh, that they coordinate with the other boxes across from them and I just I think that this is going to be neater I, I decided to do this after watching or not watching but while well, watching too watching and then seeing on Instagram other people's photos of their spreads and I realized that the ones that I was really attracted to were far less chaotic than mine and were much neater and you know looked much more organized than the spreads that I've been doing in the past. If you've watched my other video, I'll link it below. Um, ah, I did it again, take a shot. But if you watch my other video, then you will see when I do the flip through of my Hobonichi weeks towards the end of the that particular video itself that I definitely am kind of all over the place and chaotic with it. I also struggle with my handwriting on the Tom Rowe River paper on the Hobonichi River paper uh, river paper um, because I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's because of the coating that that's on the paper for calligraphy or for fountain pens. I don't know. But here you'll see that on Monday, my kids do not have school. So I'm using a no school sticker from Honey Inked. And it's just a clear sticker with black text that says no school, very upfront in your face. And it dawns on me that where I wanted to put it initially was on the lower end of the week there. But there's something written there in Japanese. I have no clue what it is. So I look for my whiteout and it's not in my bag. That means it's most likely upstairs and I'm too lazy to go get it. So what I decided to do is go ahead and move the clear sticker to the top of the day and then fill in that gap underneath with a little sticker from a Happy Daya freebie of two little guys doing the Halloween thing. It looks like they're trick or treating. Forgive me, I don't know the character names. Uh, aha, I uhed and did not um. Dun, dun, dun. After that, I go through and I showed you that I didn't have anything for Tuesday. We were moving to Wednesday. But what did I do? I put stickers on Tuesday. Guys, I'm telling you, my mind was all over the place. I have no idea what was going on with me while I was filming this. So I go ahead and I fix it and I move those things to Wednesday. I'm using Once More With Love stickers to mark that my other half, Charlie, is going to be coming home from work late. It's unusual for him to work late. So I went ahead and decided that was important to mark because otherwise, knowing me, I would worry and then I would call him and if he couldn't answer, I would worry more. So I wanted to make sure that I notated it um, during the week. Haha, <laughs> take a shot. 
And then I was going to use a Sprouted Paper Co. Trash Day sticker, but thought it was just too big. So I went through my stash. I looked at some What's More With Love stickers, but I eventually decided to use a Happy Diet sticker to put it on Thursday. I wanted to add a Don't Forget Foiled sticker because I love foil and I don't have a lot of it. But I don't know. It just it didn't look right up against the larger script from Once More With Love. So I just left the Trash Day sticker there. On Friday, I went ahead and marked my uh, my payday, our payday, my other half's payday, with a little Raja sticker from Raspberry Designs. Girl, I need more Raja, please. And then I went into my little sticker book from Some Little Things with cinnamon on the front and found a payday sticker left over from a Sari May 3 Designs kit. And let's see, on Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and choose a planner sticker from paper kumiko and put it there to remind myself that i want to take the time out on saturday to film and edit a plan with me for everybody and then sunday is my mom's birthday so i do get to bring in some foiled script from happy planner and a little once more with love munchkin munchkin to mark her birthday these heartworm stickers are from sweet kawaii designs and i love them but with the way that i'm doing my new setup they're a little bit too big so I'm going through and trying to find a heart sticker that I wanted to use. I decided against the foil since I didn't have a lot of foil to bring in other places and went back to my paper Kumiko sheet and stole a little heart off of that. And I'll just go in and write in, you know, heart, the heart and then worm meds. Um, I'm going through right now and kind of looking to see what else I have. My, my camera is going to die here shortly. I apologize. That is a Muji 0.38 gel pen that I'm using to write those things in. I'm gonna now go in and label that that's my mom's birthday and that it's Charlie who's gonna work late on Wednesday. So one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of foiled stickers at this time outside of the fact that, you know, I just, I wanna buy them all but I just can't afford to buy them all and eat. Um, but also because, man, there are bows on everything. Like, I love bows, but wow, like, everything has bows. And I'm not opposed to using bows. It's just, like, on my script stickers, I don't really want bows. Because what if I'm doing a spread that's not bow-friendly? So I'm going through, and I'm being pretty particular about it and trying to figure it out. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I'm probably going to end up with some bow washi and whatnot as well. And use in, that in my bow spreads. In my bow spreads. In my weekly spreads. But for right now, I want text or script that is legible. It's friendly to the sizing of the Hobonichi Weeks and does it is not overly frilly. I don't want it to be super cartoony, but I don't want it to be super fancy either because my style of planning in my Hobo Weeks is obviously, obviously is much more casual. Um, I did go ahead and add two trackers down there from Planning with Court. I love her trackers because they're long and slender. And I was looking for a way to make my to-do list, trying to figure out how I wanted to handle that. So what I decided on was using a Happy Daya sticker from a freebie. It's one of her Halloween freebies for October. And then I got a script from Sari May 3 Designs that just says to do. And I'm counting the amount of boxes from one side to the other so that I can place down my checklist stickers um, evenly if I decide to do them side by side. Initially, I did look at trying to do them one on top of another, but I don't know, it just, it made everything feel lopsided. I kind of wanted everything to have a, a, a continuity, a, you know, a, a good, uh, even spacing throughout the entirety of the page. So I go ahead and I lay those down as straight and as evenly as I can. And now I'm trying to figure out what do I want to use for my gratitude area? Initially, I was going to use that black sticker, but it's so big and it takes up so much space, I thought it was overwhelming. So I go through a few things, trying to figure out what I wanted to put there. I even considered just drawing it and hand lettering it, which I'm not very good at. So I decided against that and I went with a green sticker that matches the green in the kit that says, keep it real, which I think is appropriate for what that area is going to be for. I wanted to put a divide between there and I thought, hey, I think I have some washi from the Erin Condren seasonal book. But yeah, it didn't quite match. The colors were a little bit too muted. So I went back to the kit and decided to utilize the dividers that she gave with the kit. Now I'm looking for some way to rip my washi or my sticker straight and realize I did not have anything here in the office with me other than my wallet stuff, like my credit cards and whatnot. 
So it takes me a little bit to figure out how to approach getting this done. But I finally, I spoil alert, I do finally manage to get a straight edge without having to leave to go get something from upstairs. Lazy for the win. So after I get this down, we're pretty much done. I'm going to go back through and flip to the last week, see if there's anything I need to transfer over. Write in my skincare AM and PM routines. That's what I track at the bottom. I love skincare. I do the Korean skincare method. So I track and make sure that I'm doing that because it just, it helps me remind, it reminds me to get it done. So that's going to pretty much sum up everything for this plan with me for the week of October 14th to October 20th. I hope that you guys really liked the video. I enjoy doing this and I will keep posting and hopefully see you all back when you come again. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe below. I appreciate the time that you've taken to watch. Thank you and have a great day. Peace.